In this video, you're going to learn how to embed Facebook videos and live Facebook videos onto your WordPress website. So if you're ready, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have the video that you're wanting to embed. This can be either from your Facebook page or a Facebook page that you're just wanting to promote or that you like the video of. For this one, I'm going to choose one of ours on WP Beginner. And all you have to do is go to your videos area for Facebook, right click, and copy the link address. The next thing you have to do is go to the Facebook developers site for documentation on their embedded video and live video player. We'll have a link in the description below as well. And you'll just wanna scroll down until you see the embedded video player configurator. And this will configure, and this will configure everything for you. So I'm going to remove their example. And then I just need to right click and paste my video in there. That looks good. Now you can also choose the pixel width for that and that will be dependent on your theme. And don't worry for mobile, it will shrink down to the size of the mobile, so that's okay. For most things, 500 is probably big enough, so I'm gonna keep that. And then if you scroll down, you see this is what it will show. But if you want to add a little bit more, you can choose to include the full post, which will have the text information, also show the social proof of the video. So that's for you to decide if you want to keep it or not. Once you're happy with how it looks, go ahead and click get code. And then you'll see these two boxes here. We need to copy these two and we'll place them onto our website. The first one we'll need to copy or make sure that it's on our theme or we'll, use, we'll actually use a plugin for this. And we just need to add this one time in our theme or in the plugin that we're going to use for all of your Facebook embedding. So I'm gonna highlight this and I'll copy it. And then let's go to our WordPress dashboard. Now, if you're comfortable adding code to your theme, then you just need to find your header.php file. But I think the easiest way to do this is by adding a plugin. And this plugin will work for adding any kind of code that you need. So we're going to add insert headers and footers. So let's go to plugins add new, and in the search box, we're looking for insert headers and footers, and this is the plugin we want. WP Beginner maintains this because it's one of the easiest ways to add code to your site without messing with your theme. So once that's installed and activated, let's go down to settings, insert headers and footers, and from here, we want to place it in the header area, so let's click paste, and let's click save. Now the second one that we want to add is the actual video itself. And so in order to embed any video, you'll want to do this every time, but then you'll only need to add the second bit of code each time. The first bit of code only needs to be added once. The second bit of code will just be added to any post or page where you want this video to go. So I've right clicked and copied. We'll head back over to our website. We've saved this, so this is good. And now you just wanna decide where you want it to go. So I'm gonna do this in a post. I'm gonna add a new post and I'll add it in here. Now this is the Gutenberg, so we're going to add a block. And the block we're looking for, I'm gonna search for custom HTML. That way we can add this code in there. So once this block comes up, I can right click and paste all that code that I had. And you can add whatever else you want if you want to add some content underneath here or what have you, you can do that as well. I'm happy with this, so let's just click publish. And then we can open this up in a new tab to see it in action. Great, and that's what it will look like. Now, if you're still using the classic editor, you can do the same thing, just add a new post or a page where you want it to go. But instead of having it under visual, you want to make sure that you have text selected, and then you'll still want to add that data. Once you click publish, and then we can see that, and it looks the same. So if you're using Classic, then that's that works for you. Now, adding Facebook Live, it's pretty much just as easy, but you'll have to start your Facebook Live video before you can embed it, which is a little clunky, but this is all you need to do. So go to your Facebook page, go ahead and start your Live. You'll also want to make sure that it's public. If it's not, then it won't allow for embedding. So once you do that, then go and do a live video. Let everything connect. And you'll actually have to go live. So I'm gonna go live here.
And once it goes live, you'll have this date and time item. This is where your video URL is right now. So let's right click, copy link address, and we do the whole process over again. So I'll go through here, I'm going to remove that old video. I'm going to right click and paste my live video. And now it's live. And now you just have to decide on the pixel and everything like that. Same thing as before, you want to get your code. We've already done this, so we don't have to do that again. We just want to come down here, copy this, go back to our WordPress dashboard. Now for this one, I'm going to set this up as my Facebook live page. And then anytime I go live, this is what I would do. I would probably just go in here, create a custom HTML. You'd still have to go to the embed to get the latest embed video and then update this just before I go live on Facebook every time. So we're going to publish this and we're going to view the page. And now you see that this is live. So this is a great way to set up your Facebook embeds on your WordPress website. And thanks for watching. Did you learn something from today's video? If so, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll send more helpful tips to help you manage your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.